How are you going guys? Trent Freer here and today I'm coming to you straight from my think tank which is, yes, you guessed it, my boat. Uh, spent a lot of, lot of time in the boat uh, retying lines before I go fishing and um, cleaning, you know, sorting out lures and stuff like that after trips and uh, what have you. But while I was in here today, I thought I'd share with you guys a way of finishing off an FG knot opposed to using half hitches. And don't get me wrong, half hitches are good, but yeah, for the last couple of seasons, I have been trialing a different way of finishing off the FG knot. So let's go do it. Yeah, so like I was saying, I've been trialing this knot for the past couple of seasons just to make sure that it is a suitable finish of doing the FG knot that's not gonna fail you in any circumstances. And believe me, uh, when I'm fishing for Murray Cod, especially around very heavily timbered areas, um, it always puts your knots to the test and it has yet to fail me. Uh, for me, uh, personally, I'd rather finish it off with a risotto finish than the half hitches because there has been a few times where you've spent a long night casting or a long day casting and you've pumped out a thousand plus casts. And I've noticed if you don't use super glue or something like that on the half hitches, they can um, and possibly will uh, undo themselves over time just by wear and tear. Where with the risotto finish, I've noticed that I don't need to do anything but tie it, snug it down, trim off the tag, and then pump out as many casts as I want. And I've even put it through like a few different trips without retying it, just to see how this um, knot wears down. So to me, I much prefer tying the FG knot and finishing it off by the risotto finish. So what we'll do is I've got some line down here in my lap. I'll tie the FG knot just nice and quick and I'll get it to a certain part of the FG knot and I don't need to show you how to tie that because if you want I'll put a link to go across to or in even in the description of this video where I've shown how to tie the FG knot and you can just follow that link and then go watch that video first if you want and then we'll come back to this video and then we'll be able to go through the last part of it, tying off the risotto finish. So just bear with me while I just quickly tie the FG knot up to a certain point, and then we'll go from there. So right here guys, we've just got some um, 40 pound line here, and some nice bright 30 pound uh, leader. So I'll just quickly tie the FG knot, and then we can go from there. So like I explained in the other video, I like to do this method because it's not under tension. So when you're out walking the bank or in the boat, I mean, not so much in the boat, but if you walk on the bank and in a kayak and all that kind of stuff, it just makes it a little bit easier to tie once you get the hang of it than having to have somewhere to pin your rod against or your line against to make tension on it to tie this knot. So I'll just quickly bang this out. Yeah, so once I get to this point, and I'd, it's time to tie it off, obviously your main line's together, 
and then with your tag I do one half hitch first just so it holds all that um, twists or line turns or whatever you want to call it of the FG knot just down onto himself so they don't come undone and you have to do them again so I'll just do the one half hitch and then it just holds it all nice and snug now for the next bit what I'll do is I'll use the rope and then we'll come back to our leader and line and do the finishing of the knot but I just thought this is a visual aid so you can actually see what's happening and the camera will pick it up and get the gist of it so then you can do it yourself. So basically, we'll say this, the, the white and black spotty rope, say that is your tag. And this blue with the white spots, we'll say this is our leader. Yeah. So what we'll do, just to pretend that that's, this is our half hitch in the bottom at the, at the end of our FG knot, which is just make believe down here, bit of pretend, is the blue is our leader line, and obviously the white spotty rope is our tag end. So as you go up your tag end, you gotta cross over, make yourself a nice big circle, or as big as you want. Obviously once you get a little bit better at it, you can shorten the distance of the, or the size of the hole or the tag, so then you're saving leader line and um, braid. But once you've crossed it over, you wanna come inside, inside that circle. So once you go inside that circle, you wanna do six wraps. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then with the tag end coming down back towards your FG knot, hold that there all together, just past the half hitch. And what you get is a lot of twists along your uh, leader line. And what we're gonna do from now is we're gonna retwist the leader, uh, we're gonna retwist the tag end back up on itself. So I don't know how it's gonna go with rope because it probably won't be as smooth. But I like to hold the twists away from me. So pointing towards you guys. And the, the braid, which is the white spotty rope, which no twists, I like to have close to me. So what I need to do is make one twist towards you. And then the next twist, exactly the same right snug up on itself. So if you can see that, they're nice and snug together. You don't have to be super tight, but you just want them nice and neat. So as you're twisting this, you're untwisting the twist you did at the start. I dare to say that 20 times in a row. And then you keep going until you finish off all your twists and then it, the rope is all untwisted. Or in this case, your leader line and your braid. So it's twisting up the rope, something shocking, but you'll get the general idea. So as you can see with my last twist, as you can see, I've made another six wraps, or five wraps in all, it is six, in this case above that half hitch, where I twisted, I turned them around one side and got them all twisted up and then I've returned it and then untwisted all that other side and now your leader line's coming straight out it's not twisted up in your um, braid anymore and then you've untwisted it from where it was around your leader so all you got to do now is come down to where your tag ends sticking out and then start pulling it and when you start pulling it, it's gonna start neatening up at the end and it will grab and then it will all come back down to where you want it. So since this other bit's not super tight, like a knot, it's gonna give me a little bit of grief.
that basically that's what the finish is. It's called the Rizzuto finish. So it'll come down to where your FG knot is and don't worry about that half hitch. It won't interfere with all them twists along your leader line to grip into and tighten down. And it'll just act as a stopper for the Rizzuto to come down to and snug up. So it ends up being these nice little neat wraps around your leader line that sit right at the end of your FG knot. So now we've done that, we can come back to our half tied FG knot just waiting to finish it off. So as I said, just get some away from your feet. We've got our tag sticking out and we want our main line and our leader line nice and snug up to each other. The only difference with this, you're going to have three or two lines together, opposed to just that one part of rope that was um, together. So, put them, like I said, put them together and hold them however you do. Like I like to hold in my thumb and forefinger and then in between um, my middle finger and my ring finger, and that way it gives me a nice little gap, if you can see down in there that I'm going to do my wraps down towards the FG knot. So I'll just re-grip it. And all I do is, like I said, it can be a little bit fiddly at the start, but it gets better as you do it more. So once I do the first wrap, I just let it all go. And then hold on to that first wrap and then go down towards the, where the FG knot and the half hitch is six times. So I've done one two, three, four, five, six. And I probably should have made the tag just a little bit longer for the purpose of this video just to help you guys and help myself just to tie it. And then there's that step. So what you can see is part of your braid has no wraps on it. And then your leader and your main line that goes up, to, goes down through your guides to your reel has wraps on it. So with that tag end where the FG knot is sitting, you want to hold all that together. And with the one without the wraps on it, that's the one that you want to rewrap and now I'm going to re-wrap them back upways to the end of the, um, the leader line and it's going to be from towards me and away to do the wrap. So you do your first one, it doesn't have to be super tight and super neat but you want them nice and close and snug to each other. So that's one, two, three, four, five, Six, and I'll just go one more for good management. Seven. And what you can see is now, besides this being a little bit twisted, is them wraps that I did are all untwisted. I've got them other wraps that are right beside the FG knot, all nice and snug together. And usually I don't let these go, but I need to show you on the camera. I usually just squeeze them in my fingers. And then you've got the loop that you've created coming, undoing them other wraps. So what you need to do now is just, you hold on to the wraps that you've just made for the risotto finish, just to neaten it up. Find your tag end. I always just pull it with my teeth just to get a little bit longer to grip on with my fingers. And then pull it down. And then as you can see, it's made that all nice and neat and snug and yeah like I said I've tried the, trialed this knot for a couple of seasons now just to make sure that it wasn't a finish that would fail me and come undone and yeah like it has not done that so once you get to this stage and the knot hasn't been obviously pulled tight 
under tension to get it all snug down, as you do, is now we pull it tight and snug it all down. So I've just got my trusty um, tension rings. They've just got rubber on the inside of them. And uh, yeah, they're just a ring for your fingers. So then when you're snugging down and putting tension on your FG knot, you can give it a really good um, tighten down. So I'll just get the back to the knot. I'll just lay it, lay it down in my lap, get these rings on, and then just do a few wraps of the leader line. Come back a little bit further, because braid likes to tend to slip, even though it's got rubber in there. You still want a couple of wraps in there just so it doesn't slip at all. Give them a few wraps. And once we've done that, I like just to have the tag close to me in the middle. Wet down the knot a little bit. And then just give it a good, good tension down. And then what I like to do is grab the tag end and just pull that risotto knot down the first time and then do it one more time. So lots of tension and then grab your tag and then give it a nice snug now. And then with that, if you can see, that is the FG knot with the risotto finish. I like to tie it this way now. I've uh, noticed that, yeah, with that little bit more of the wraps at the end, it sort of protects the end of the knot a little bit better. And yeah, it has not once come undone on me. And yeah, I've, I've really gave it a massive workout to see if this finishing of the FG knot could withstand thousands of casts and um, yeah, uh, getting snagged and pulling on it as hard as you can and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it's been, yeah, it just has not failed. So what I do now is trim up your leader end. I always leave like a couple of mil there after I've cut it. Your braid end, I always like to leave it at about the same length. Once it's gone through the guides a couple of times, it all fluffs up and yeah, it doesn't really matter. And one more thing that I do usually like to do is, because I usually tie my leaders on my rods before I go on a fishing trip at home. And um, yeah, I, with the, this finish, I, you don't have to worry about it when you're in the water. Sometimes you do, but um, yeah, I like to get prepared before I go. Is like I said, with that couple of mil tag at the end of our leader, is I like to get a lighter and I just like to burn it and melt it down and make it sort of like a dome shape at the end of this knot. And that is another bit of security at the end of the knot that you know that it's gonna take a fair bit for that pressure to get it past that dome. So I just get the lighter, I light it up. Obviously be careful, don't burn yourself. And then it, you don't even have to touch it with the flame, it's more just getting it close to it. And then just work it around. And then it just finishes off this knot and I usually use a lighter on a lot of other knots just to finish it off too. And then yeah, that is super slim and yeah, it's just gonna go through them guides like you won't believe. So yeah, that's just my personal preference for finishing off the FG knot, which is the Rizzuto finish. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, um, put a comment down if you want and uh, cruise across to that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. So until next time guys, go catch some fish.